Alright, my name is Guy. Today we're going to talk a little bit about winterizing your camper. This model here is a Jayco. So the first thing we're going to want to do is turn off your water pressure going into your camper. Turn off your water source. Now if your water heater is hot, you're going to want that to cool down. Once your water heater is cooled down, you're going to want to release the pressure by the PT valve. Open up the PT valve and release the pressure. Okay, now that the pressure is released, we're going to go ahead and remove the drain plug. So this is a Jayco camper. It has an Atwood water heater, so it's going to be an aluminum tank. So the drain plug is going to be a nylon plug. Once we remove the plug, we're going to open up the PT valve so it'll drain faster. Once your water heater is completely drained, close your PT valve. Okay, now we're going to install a blowout tool which can be purchased inside at the dealership. As well as a water regulator which regulates your water pressure to 30 to 40 PSI's. We're going to install these two together. We're going to install this to your city water connection. Now we're going to install our air hose. Now we're hooked up to air pressure, 30 to 40 PSI's. We're going to blow any residual water out of your water heater. Now that we feel like all the residual water is out of the water heater, we're going to go inside the camper and put the water heater in bypass mode. Now we're going to put the water in bypass mode. We have two valves, one on the bottom, one on the top. We're going to close the bottom. Now we're going to close the top. Now we're going to go to each faucet, kitchen faucet, bathroom faucet, the toilet, the outside shower, and the low point drains, and release all the water pressure. Faucet, we're going to open up the cold until all the water is out of the line and it is spitting out air. Okay, now we're going to do the hot. going to go into the bathroom and do the bathroom faucet. Cold. Hot. Now we're going to do the shower. Cold. Hot. Now on each camper, low point drains are going to be located in different locations. On this camper, it's going to be in the bathroom, and you'll have two low point drains, one for the cold and one for the hot. You want to zoom in on those?
We'll open up the cold side. Now we'll open up the hot. Then we'll close them. It has an outside shower. So we'll go outside and we'll release the water pressure from the outside shower. Cold. Hot. Now that's it for our water lines. All the water has been blown out. Now we're going to pump antifreeze into our water lines. Now we're back inside the camper. Now we're going to locate the water pump. On this particular camper, it's underneath the refrigerator. Normally on these water pumps there's going to be two valves. One valve connected to the hose which is going into your tank. And then there'll be another valve connected to your winterizing bypass hose. Normally you'll want to have at least two gallons of antifreeze. Now we'll install our hose into our gallon of antifreeze. We'll, we'll locate our pump switch, which is located normally on the monitoring panel. Turn it on. Now if your pump is not pumping antifreeze through the hose, you'll have to siphon it by simply turning on a water faucet. Once your pump starts pulling antifreeze into the hose, turn off your faucet until your lines are pressurized. So now that your lines are pressurized and they have antifreeze going through them, we're going to go to each faucet and open them up one at a time until we see antifreeze going through the line. Cold. Hot. Cold, hot, cold, hot, now we'll get our two low point drains which is located underneath the sink. Cold, hot, now we'll go outside to the outside shower, now we're outside, outside shower, cold, hot, outside shower is done. We're going to want to drain our holding tanks as well. We'll open up the gray. Release any water that's in your gray tank. We'll remove the hose from our gallon of antifreeze. Open up a water faucet till all the antifreeze is pumped out of the hose.
Now we'll turn off our water pump. Now we'll take what antifreeze we have left and we'll pour this down the P-traps just a little bit. And we wanted to show you a map of some different versions of Jayco's bypass valves. This would be summer position, cold water open, hot water open, bypass closed. This would be the winter position, cold water valve closed, hot water valve closed, bypass open.